Hey folks, Patrick Cooper here with another Three Songs Thursday series here in the sunroom in New Orleans. So actually the two covers that I'm going to do this time, there's actually a theme that uh, brings the two songs together. And this theme is uh, that the song was a big hit uh, for a certain band or artist uh, however, the person that wrote the song, or co-wrote the song, was very, very famous, and the hit was not theirs. So you get that? Another band does a song written by a famous songwriter, or one to become famous songwriter, and it was their hit, uh, and not the one from the actual person who wrote the song. So that's the deal. Uh, I'll do the song and see if... Uh, to give you time to see if you know the answer. Uh, you shouldn't cheat and go online to see if you can find the answer. Uh, there's no, I, I trust you. There's no way I know if you're doing that or not. So anyway, so here's the first one. And see if you can see who uh, can remember who actually wrote the song. In the moonlight, midnight hour, I sit and walk a lonely mile. And every time I do, I see this picture of you. Here comes my baby, here she comes now. And it comes as no surprise to me with another guy. Here comes my baby. Here she comes now. She's walking with a love, with a love that's all so fine. Never to be mine, no matter how I try. Ha, 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 ha. You never walk alone. You're always talking on the phone I tried to call you names But it winds up sounding just the same Here comes my baby Here she comes now And it comes as no surprise to me With another guy Here comes my baby here she comes now She's walking with a love, with a love that's all so fine Never to be mine, no matter how I try Here comes my baby, here she comes now And it comes as no surprise to me with another guy Here comes my baby, here she comes now She's walking with a love, with a love that's all so fine Never to be mine, no matter how I try ha, 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 ha. Uh, the song, of course, is called Here Comes My Baby. Uh, did you get the answer without checking the internet? Uh, the answer is Cat Stevens. At age 19, Cat Stevens released this song on his very first album, and it was be before he became a big deal. This was before T for the Tillerman and a lot of his other iconic records. But he actually wrote that song. But a band called the Tremolos had a big hit with it. And they made it into uh, the big hit. Uh, years and years later, a great band called the Mavericks did their own version of it. But anyway, so that's your answer. Cat Stevens wrote the song, Here Comes My Baby. That was a, a big hit for the Tremolos. All right. Uh, for the second song, which is the original tune, I'm going to do the t-shirt reveal because it ties in. 
So the question is, uh, what would one say about somebody who would wear a t-shirt with their own picture on it? Uh, a dork with delusions of grandeur? Maybe. But it's more of a laugh, just to explain it. Uh, it makes me laugh, at least. Uh, our good friend, uh, Patrick Liberty, who has a great t-shirt shop in Venice Beach, California, called Venice Liberty, uh, we thought he was kind of joking, but he wrote us and said, look, I want to design a t-shirt uh, with you and Bob Merrick. And as many of you know, Bob Merrick is a friend of mine, and uh, we co-write many songs together, have, and will continue to do so. Bob is uh, generally the lyricist, and I'm generally the person who does the music uh, and melody. And uh, so anyway, so Patrick said, send me some photos of you guys. So we sent him quite a number of photos, some of us, you know, as we are now. And then as a joke, we sent him a few photos of us as kids. Uh, and he decided to go with the one uh, with us as kids. And so here it is. I don't know if you can tell very well, but anyway, it says Bob Merrick, Pat Cooper. I was mostly known as Pat when I was uh, growing up and later uh, went with my given Christian name of Patrick. And I uh, see he says, songwriters extraordinaire, which is maybe pushing it a bit, but we uh, appreciate what uh, Patrick Liberty said about us. So anyways, you can see uh, Bob uh, being the lyricist is the kind of intellectual studious one with the cool glasses. And I'm the uh, rock star wannabe uh, in a band that I was in at age 12 and 13 and partially into 14. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, and I promise you'll never see this again, unless I wear it at some stupid party. So again, thanks so much. Uh, if you find yourself uh, in Southern California after all this stuff clears up, uh, it's called Venice Liberty. Uh, and it's a great uh, sh shirt shop on the beach in Venice, California. And say hi to Patrick for us. We, all three of us went to the same high school together in Shreveport, Bob, myself, and Patrick. So that's the story with that, which then leads into this song that Bob and I wrote together. A song called, Now I Can't Even Say Hello, a bit of a rockabilly, rockabilly vibe. This morning I met six people. I had 10 friends by now. Now they can't recall my name Do they sing this tune? And I'm laying by the pay phone In the boarding house hall Waiting to hear from someone Knowing they'll never call Was I fooling when I was born? Friends and I care too. I can't even say hello. Oh, I've tried, but I don't dare to. I'll watch the lanes of the parking lot cross each other in yellow. And I knew it was the only shopper who was in need of that fellow. She said, Believe me, I want to. I waited for her that night. When I returned for her later, she said she bought a new life. Was I fooling when I had more friends than I cared to? I can't even say hello. Oh, I've tried, but I don't dare to. Warning came to her often, finally came to my senses. Took me too long to know I'd run 
counted all the expenses. Who was that for me? When I had more friends than I cared to. And I can't even say hello. Oh, I've tried, but I don't dare to. No, I don't dare to. Song written with Bob Merritt called, Now I Can't Even Say Hello. Okay, so the third song, which is another cover in keeping with the theme. This was a big hit for a band, but it was actually co-written by a uh, person who went on to become uh, an incredibly successful performer and songwriter in his own right. It was actually already kind of there when he wrote this song and ended up basically kind of giving it to this band. This band had a big hit with it. Let's see if you can figure it out. I should have known you'd bid me farewell There's a lesson to be learned from this I've learned it very well Now I know you're not the only starfish in the sea If I never heard your name again It's all the same to me And I think it's gonna be alright Yes, the worst is over now The morning sun is shining Blacky red rubber ball Never care for secrets I defy. You, I'm just an ornament, something for your pride. Always laughing, always running, that's the life you live. Stolen moments of your time for all you had to give, and I think it's gonna be alright. Yes, the worst is over now, the morning sun is shining. Blacky red rubber ball The lessons in the past With nothing to recall I've got my life to live And I don't need you at all This roller coaster ride We took is nearly at an end I bought my tickets with my tears It's all I'm gonna spend And I think it's gonna be alright Yes, the worst is over now The morning sun is shining Like a red rubber ball And I think it's gonna be alright Yes, the worst is over now The morning sun is shining Like a red rubber ball song is called Red Rubber Ball and it was a big hit for a band called The Circle back in I believe it was 66 and they spelled uh, their band name C-Y-R-K-L-E and so it was a huge hit for them. The writers of the song however was first a fellow named Bruce Woodley who was in a band called The Seekers that had a lot of uh, success on their own. The other songwriter of that song was Paul Simon. How about that? Remember, he went on to do some really big things. So anyway, that's the story. Uh, evidently, uh, according to something I read, uh, uh, one of the band members in the circle said they had opened for Simon and Garfunkel, and Simon said, kind of ended up giving him this song uh, to record, and it became a big hit for them. So I hope you learned something, and I hope you had fun. See you next week.